Hey, I'm Chogi Lim. Longing for the days of dinner on a diner? Well, nothing could be finer than a nice meal on steel wheels in the idyllic setting of East Troy, Wisconsin's dinner train. It's just across the Cheddar border. So let's go. All right, it's Cheddar Curtain. Cheddar. What did I say? Cheddar, cheddar border. border. Cheddar border. It's like Iron Curtain. Cheddar yeah, no, I, I know what it is. Okay. <laughs> it's just across the Cheddar Curtain. Let's go. To introduce yourself for us today. Yes, my name is Jack Franklin, the general manager of the East Troy Electric Railroad. We've been in existence since 1907 as a railroad, but the museum has been here since 1985. And it's all electrically operated, runs antique electric equipment like trolley cars and the dinner train that you're going to see over here. Welcome aboard, sir. And who are you? Andy Woodkowski, uh, tonight's motorman. Oh, I've been doing this for about 10 years. I'll give you a nice, smooth ride tonight. God, I couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> So where did this car run now in its heyday? Okay, it ran between Chicago and South Bend, Indiana, and the Chicago South Shore and South Bend Railroad. It was built in 1927 and retired in 1983. We took the car and its sister car and gutted them and made dining cars out of them. You are a volunteer, you said? Yes, I am. And I guess you have kind of something in common with all the other employees, is that right? That they're all... Uh, crazy about trains. I get paid nothing, and I do this because I like working with trains. Yeah. You might want to kind of hit your horn or something. I don't think he sees us. He's not getting out of the way. <laughs> Can you tell me people are eating here? That's kind of interesting. This car holds this car holds 50 people. Between the two cars, we can accommodate 100 people in the dining. So you accommodate 100 people. Is there any dancing for, let's say, a bar mitzvah, if people want to celebrate something like that here? Yes, we could do that. We've actually done three weddings. You just said this was recently remodeled? The decor is mahogany, and it's uh, we put the strip paneling here. The bar was added, the carpeting on the floor, the lighting, all this was done. completely different. Dinner is now being served. We have different uh, meals which are catered. Today they're going to have beef tenderloin tips. Sometimes we have prime rib. This is Wisconsin, so they're not into the light cuisine, so to speak. Now, are you all on a date here tonight? Well, there's a couple of us here for a birthday party. Are you two celebrating anything today on this dinner train? Our 51st anniversary tomorrow. I want to ask if you know a certain song. It's called the Chattanooga Choo Choo. No. no. Would you be able to recite some lines if we gave it to you? Chattanooga Choo Choo. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. Don't don't worry about the camera. It's just my own video camera. Let's hit it, girl. Two, three, four. No, I'm going to sing dinner in the diner. Pardon me, boy. Is this Chattanooga Choo Choo? That's all I know. What's this mean? This is the Chattanooga Choo Choo. You got a problem with it? Jack, why did we stop? We call it the horse swamp. I think years ago a horse probably sank in it, maybe. So you're saying a horse died in the swamp? Very possible, very possible, yes. And you sell this to people? Oh my God. I'm gonna feed you a line, and then you're just gonna belt out the rest, okay? Okay. So the first line is, what's the first line again? You leave the Pennsylvania station about a quarter to four. Dinner at the diner, nothing could be finer. Then you have your... Something in Carolina. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Are you kidding me? All right, free dinner right here and an extra salad. We're approaching a section of the line called the tunnel because the trees arch over the track like a leafy tunnel. Do you have a certain place that you wish if you had a girlfriend you could take her because it's really romantic? Um, yes. Now, this guy is the same guy that we just saw in our previous... Uh, yeah. yeah, he's the same person. He, he drives up and down the line to flag the crossing. Is he an android? How are we moving today? Okay, the overhead wire that you see there carries 600 volts DC. That's pretty heavy. And that powers the electric motors that are down in the wheels. And the return current goes through the rail. So it's uh, like a giant electric train set. Public transportation is the way to go. Unfortunately, a lot of people you know, are married to their cars, but we push it. We feel that light rail and electric rail transportation is the way. Yeah, I hate those people. How about you? 
I don't know if I hate them. I mean, they got we have to have somebody come up here and ride our trains. You just you want to beat them up at least. Do not tell me that's the same guy. It's the same guy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> we are being chased by the Terminator. Well, my first name is Leroy. Capital R in there. I started this. I started oh, you started the guard. Otherwise, uh, if there is no flag man around here, um, they just take their chances here. It's a guessing game. This is our substation where the electricity used to be provided for the line years ago. It's now our gift shop and our museum and our station as well. What's your favorite toy to play with here? <laughs> this is for frustrated railroad engineers, folks. <laughs> Jack, if people want to find out more about the East Troy Electric Railroad, how do they do that? Well, they can call 262-548-3837. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it.